Hey everybody, we are back today in the bunker and I have a CRT with me. We're going to be doing a repair, hopefully, <laughs> on one of the most desirable Sony PVMs ever made. That is the PVM 20L5 multi-format CRT. Now this is the 19 inch display CRT that does everything from 240p all the way up to 1080i. It is a 4x3 tube Trinitron. Now, unfortunately, this one does not power on properly as it sits. I got a request to check out this PVM, and first I'd like to show you what the actual problem is. I had this video clip sent to me from the owner of the PVM, and let's just take a quick look at it. Well, as you can see, there's an issue here with the powering on not quite working and it makes some very violent flashes. So I do not want to try to add any stress to this monitor. We're not even going to power it on yet. Obviously, there's some kind of internal issue going on inside this PVM. So we need to get inside it. In order to do that, we're going to turn the monitor around and remove the shell from the outside. Here's the back side of the monitor. Obviously the exterior has been removed and what has occurred back here is the owner of the monitor was checking voltages, I believe on the neck board, which is our C board right here. And while he checked those voltages, he connected two points that should not have touched with the two prongs on his multimeter. And when he did that, he created a uh, voltage or a short between two points and caused something to be damaged. Now, after he did that, he contacted me. I told him I wasn't quite sure what he had done to check his fuses and things, but it wasn't a fuse problem because the fuses were fine. Had to reach out to the legendary save on Pat and Pat had informed us that there is a resistor on this board and it is resistor 705 and that resistor can act as a fuse and blow out in certain situations, which is what we are hoping is the problem here. But if I look down here, I do see where there's like an arc on the 160 volt line. And so I'm not sure, and it may even an arc over here on the ground. So something, or maybe even just checking that to ground uh, was too much voltage and caused a spark. So that that's um, <laughs> kind of an issue, do not, you know, try to do certain things on a monitor unless you know exactly what you are doing or you can damage it or even worse, hurt yourself. So here's a closer look at the backside of the neck board and R705. That is a 39 ohm quarter watt resistor. And unfortunately, I cannot test this resistor while it's in circuit. It needs to be removed from the circuit in order to actually get a good reading on it. I tried to get a reading and it was very unstable. And then I realized that it just needs to be out of circuit. So what we're going to need to do is remove this and uh, hopefully save on Pat is right. Here's our neck board removed. We're gonna take a closer look at R705, right down in here next to this capacitor. You see this? It's kind of elevated a little bit off the board. So let's pull it, remove it, and then we'll test it with the multimeter and see if this is the problem or not. It should tell us pretty, pretty much right away. Here's our resistor. I've got some hands holding it so that I can get a good reading from my multimeter. I will be switching this to read for ohms. If it reads 39-ish, it's good. 
What do you think? Hmm. It's ringing about 20-ish right now, 19. Let's see what a good one will measure. That one's reading 40, did you see it? 38.7 right there. Alright, power is being fed in. I have not turned on the power switch yet, so this is the first time I've done it since obviously you saw me replace the resistor and then reinstall the neck board. I went and double checked all the connections, made sure everything was right. And I figure worst case scenario is we turn it on here and it will look just the same as it did in the demonstration video. Best case scenario is we've repaired the monitor. All right, here goes nothing. Let's see what happens. So far so good. I see component come up on screen. Looks pretty normal. There's our menu. Okay. So that's all a good sign. Now let's do some testing with the monitor and make sure it works. All right, I've got things set up to run some tests with a triple bypassed Sega Genesis version 2 fed over to RGB SCART. Now let's take a look on screen. And success, we have RGB and sync on screen which is a great sign now i need to let it run for probably an hour just to make sure there are no hiccups and that everything else is fine with the machine but yes just amazing great stuff the crt has been running now for about an hour and it looks really good we've got a uh, pretty decent looking overall picture here. I don't really feel like this monitor needs really anything else at this time. It's not old enough and it doesn't appear that there's enough hours on this really for it to need a full geometry cap kit. As a matter of fact, sometimes uh, changing those capacitors, especially right now when it's difficult to find good replacements always, uh, it, it's better sometimes in these later model PVMs to just leave them if you can tell that there's not a lot of hours on it. So I'm just going to recommend that we put the shell back on this one to get it settled back up. And then the owner can take it and use it for uh, his own delight. And that'll be it for this lovely Sony PVM 20L5. And hey, how about that? What a great job by Save on Pat to be able to diagnose something like this just straight up over the phone. Uh, kudos to him. I would have not known that that resistor acted like that a fuse in some cases is a fail safe. I will note that Save on Pat does offer a capacitor kit and a repair kit for the L5s both the 20 inch and the 14 inch and in that kit it does include this resistor so if you did have an issue where your monitor wouldn't power on like this one didn't 
you could order his kit and do just the resistor or the entire kit and then your monitor will probably work afterwards so that is a good thing that it is in that kit and thanks again for watching everybody i will see you all next time with some more retro content <laughs>